What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Sam from Team Sam Rex one year. Happy Wednesday! Guys, it is Wednesday. Today is the official OTS release day for the brand new Egyptian God deck. So literally in front of you guys right here, we got Egyptian God deck Slifer the Sky Dragon and Egyptian God deck Obelisk the Tormentor. One of the biggest questions I wanna ask you guys is what is your favorite God card? Is your favorite card Slifer or is your favorite God card Obelisk? Let me know in the comment section below. Guys, these are the TCG releases of the Egyptian Prismatic God Boxes. I don't know if you guys remember this video right here where I open up the Prismatic God Box. That's what the OCG got. I was kind of expecting something along the lines of the Prismatic God Box. I felt like that would have been a thousand percent way more cooler than getting structured decks, but structured decks nonetheless are still pretty cool. We got great reprints in here. We got new support for Slifer and Obelisk, and I just can't wait to crack this thing down for you guys today. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, don't forget to and guys, I actually haven't announced the winner of the OTS 16 pack giveaway. So the winner is right here. Yo, if you are the winner right here, please email me Team Samurai X1 at gmail.com and we'll get you sorted on sending this out to you as soon as possible. And in this video, I'll be giving away a signed structure deck of Egyptian God deck Obelisk and Egyptian God deck Slifer the Sky Dragon. So all you guys gotta do is be a subscriber, like the video, and leave in the comment section below on what your favorite God card is, okay? It doesn't have to be the Egyptian Gods. It could be Exodia, it could be the Wicked Gods. It can literally be anything you guys wanna name. All right guys, don't waste any more of your time. Without further ado, let's get started with the Obelisk the Tormentor. Uh, structure deck right here. Actually, I'm kind of more of an Obelisk fan, so I'm gonna put this to the side because, guys, my favorite Yu-Gi-Oh character is actually that guy right there. It's it's not Yugi, unfortunately. I'm Kaiba. I love Kaiba. Kaiba is like, I wouldn't say Kaiba is the antagonist. He's not like Merrick is the antagonist. You know what I mean? Like Kaiba is Yugi's rival. I believe they're both good guys. You know what I mean? But Kaiba is just um just superior in my opinion. So uh, here we go. So here is the Egyptian God deck slifer. And first and foremost, you gotta... Cardboard magic, guys. Cardboard magic and all that. There you go. And here we go, guys. So we got, of course, the game mat uh, right here, which is really awesome. They give you some strategies on how to play the God decks, which is absolutely insane. Loving the new strategies of this thing right here. And of course, this weekend is Yu-Gi-Oh! Day. So if you're OTS, is participating in Yu-Gi-Oh! Day, you guys can actually have a chance to win this like full-size game mat, uh, which is absolutely insane. But nonetheless, this play mat looks absolutely beautiful. Egyptian God deck Slifer, Egyptian God deck Obelisk the Performancer. Um, and that's pretty much it. And there's nothing else in the box, and this is the, the structure deck right here. So um, the, my critique, wow, this is a little bit OC as well. Look at that, like, like from top to bottom, a little, a little off-center as well. My critique, for these god decks is that they should have made like the god cards a different rarity. Like I don't understand why uh, it's it's still ultra rare. Like I felt like these would have been a little bit better if it's secret rare or maybe even like prismatic secret rare. That would have been super duper cool. I felt like Konami could have stepped up their game a little bit more when it comes to making this product. Nonetheless, man, ultra rare still looks really nice, but I definitely would have preferred this card to be like a prismatic secret rare, similar to how the prismatic god box in the OCG have those cards as, you know, like secret rares. Like, I'll show you. Like, we don't even have this rarity in the TCG. You know what I mean? So if Konami were able to make something like this for the structured X, that would look absolutely insane. That would have made this product a little bit better in, in my opinion, but look how beautiful and gorgeous this Slifer of the Sky Dragon is compared to like, you know, of course, like the, the, the ultra rare Slifer of the Sky Dragon, you know what I mean? Nonetheless, still pretty good, but I definitely would have preferred the card to be Prismatic Secret Rare, the exact same way the OCG counterpart had it for their Prismatic God Box, right? So, Seven of Sky Dragon, insane. Uh, Soul Crossing, okay, this card's name is Soul Crossing in the TCG. This card is basically a Monarch Stormforth, which is absolutely insane for gods, which is why Soul Crossing is just really, really good. And I have a really cool deck profile for you guys to check out once I get all the cards for the structure deck. So, guys, stay tuned for that. If you guys are interested in a budget deck, let me know in the comments from below. We, of course, got Thunder Force Attack. This is the Slifer the Sky Dragon support card. This card's activation effect cannot be negated. If you control a monster whose original name is Slifer the Sky Dragon, destroy as many face of monster point controls as possible. Then if you activate this card during your main phase, you can apply the following effect. Draw a card equals the number of monsters destroyed by this effect and send to your opponent's graveyard. Also, you can only attack with one monster this turn. This card is amazing. It's an interruption. 
which cannot be negated, uh, which is absolutely ridiculous, right? Thunder Force Attack is really good. Now we got, of course, Millennium Seeker. Kind of reminds me of like, kind of like more Merrick type card. Uh, when you take a thousand or more battle or effect damage, you special this card from your hand. You can try one monster opponent's graveyard, except a monster with question mark attack. Your opponent choose uh, your opponent can choose one monster from their deck except a monster with question attack. If they choose not to, or if they target a monster has a higher attack than a chosen monster, especially the targeted monster to your side of the field. And if you do, shuffle the chosen monster back into the deck. Otherwise, your opponent adds a chosen monster to the hand. You only use this effect of Millennium Seeker once per turn. Pretty cool. It smells absolutely amazing. And honestly, like structure deck smell, like this side right here, when it's all like, kind of like, you know, like usually with old cards, like they have like a brown rusty color but when it like brand new it's like super duper white here I just, you just know it's brand new and it just smells absolutely insane right so yep ultimate divine beast right here obviously uh, right here in this card in the OCG looks so much better man it came as an ultimate rare which is really good so when a point monster players attack you discard one spell or trap then target one divine beast monster in graveyard special up in defense vision then change the attack target to it during the end phase, if you control a Divine Beast monster you can destroy all face of cards your opponent controls that activate their effects on the field this turn Wow. Uh, tell us the little angel. Super duper cute. What does this do? Uh, so this card is sent from the monster zone to the graveyard. You can special one tell us the wing token. Okay, while you control a tell us wing token, you can banish this card from your graveyard and one spell from your hand. Special two tell us wing token. Also, you cannot special them for the rest of the turn except from your hand. Card's amazing. So this card literally provides you a bunch of tributes for literally your 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 slifer the sky dragon, which is really good. Okay. Reactor slime, really great rarity bump right here. Okay, this came in as a, a, a rare, but now we got this as a super rare, which is really cool. Harpy's Feather Duster. Honestly, guys, this structure deck is like $10 MSRP. Like, this is literally a bang for your buck. You're, you're getting a super rare Harpy's Feather Duster. And if you guys do not know, the only way you can get Harpy's Feather Duster super rare, aside from this structure deck now, is from the video game. All right, and the video game Harpy's Feather Duster super rare is like a thousand plus dollars. And, you know, getting a reprint super rare looks absolutely insane, in my opinion. So, anybody talking crap about a structure deck, like, I don't know what they're saying, bro, but it's like a really good bang for their buck, in, in my opinion. Like, $10, you can't go wrong with this. And, like, if you, if you even just want to play Yu Gi Oh! for fun, like, you got Breaker, the Magical Warrior, you got Beast King Barbaros, like, Nine Tail Fox. Okay, this card is not that good, but Phantom Sky Blaster, good generating tokens, card guard, Clego Claw Crow, Extenders, Electromagnetic Turtle, which is really good. Break here, the Dark Magical Warrior, Escape Ghosts, you know, more tokens is good. Ooh, Arima, the Wicked Warden, amazing. Allure of Darkness is also in here, which is crazy. Not Allure of Darkness, I mean uh, Lair of Darkness. So double Arima, triple Arima, wow. Uh, Duke Shade, the Sinister Shadow, amazing. Clock Wyvern, more token generator cards. Tenny Spirit, Rashuda, amazing cards. Swords of Reeling Light, Monster Reborn, great staples nonetheless. You know, like, these structure decks are designed for the casual fan base. You know what I mean? Like, anybody can get a structure deck and just play with each other, which is why I love structure decks like these. Obviously, there's no not gonna be structure decks that compare to like Salomon Greats or, or uh, what's it called? The Monarch structure deck or even the Shadal structure deck. Those are absolutely insane for the competitive fan base, but you have to understand Yu-Gi-Oh! as a casual, a whole, you know, as a whole, 5% is only competitive players, you know what I mean? So like these structured decks are always great with reprints, you know what I mean? The only thing that I could have changed uh, from this is basically making the cards rarity look a little bit better, close to the, uh, you know, the OCG counterparts with the Prismatic God box. But you got Book the Moon, Great Staples, Enemy Controller, like Pot of Adverse is also in here, March of the Monarchs, amazing, Supply Squad, Card Events, this card I haven't gotten reprinted ever, I, I don't think. Uh, so True Name, one time passcode, some more tokens, Layer of Darkness. I believe this is the first ever reprint, or I can be wrong. I believe this came out in Max Gold, right? Maybe, maybe, maybe I'm tripping, but Max Gold. Draw Faith, wow, what does this card do? So, if your life points are lower than your opponent, and your opponent controls a monster with the highest attack on the field, even if it's tied, your three cards are different in your deck, place them on top of your deck in random order, then draw one card. Wow. Not bad. For the rest of the turn, after this card is up, you know, set spell and trap cards. Also, you can only activate one more effect for the rest of the turn. Well, Exodia in the background is insane. This is Yugi for sure. You can tell by his arm sleeves. Mirror Force, like you can't go wrong with this. And honestly, like I Reckless Greed too, like great. Metal Reflex Slime for the Egyptian God Slimes, of course. Golden Apples, back to the front. And of course the Dueling's Code. And of course, uh, King's Court is coming out too, which is absolutely amazing, right? So really, really nice. So that's pretty much it for the Slifer Structure Deck. Let's go on to the Obelisk Structure Deck. My favorite Structure Deck out of the two. All right, 
Slifer and Obelisk. I'm, I said I'm kind of a Kaiba guy, you know? So obviously I'm gonna pick Obelisk over Slifer to Sky Dragon, you know? Wing Dragon to Raw is my least favorite because I don't really mess with Merrick like that. Nonetheless, Raw is in Ghost Rare, so if Konami, maybe that's why Konami didn't decide to make this Prismatic Rare because they're gonna make all the gods Ghost Rare. So you have Raw, and you better get Slifer and you better get uh, Obelisk now, you know what I mean? So it's gonna be super duper hype. If we get those other two counterparts as a ghost red, that would be beautiful. So we got Obelisk and Tormentor. Come on, focus. There we go. Insane. Really good. Of course, Soul Crossing. We also got Fist of Fate. Okay, so this card activation cannot be negated. Same thing as the Thunder Force attack. If you control monsters whose original name is Obelisk Tormentor, and you get the effects of one effect monster, the point controls. So, like, literally, it doesn't, it doesn't target. So you activate this card, or you control Obelisk, you target Dragoons. Well, it doesn't target. You just negate Dragoon's effect. Dragoons can negate this. Okay, and if you do, destroy it. Well, dra well, no, no, it negates the effect, and if you do, destroy it. So, it it, 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 does, it doesn't target. So, negate the effects of one effect monster. One control. So, you negate Dragoon's effect, then you can destroy it. So, that means Dragoon's effect is negated. So, you can destroy Dragoon's, which is amazing. Um, uh, and if you do that, for the rest of this turn, the effect of that monster are negated, as well as the activate effects and effects on the field of that monster with the same original name. Pretty cool. Uh, if you activate this card during your main phase, you can apply this effect to destroy all spawn trap cards your point controls. Wow, face of faith is nice. Divine Evolution. What what card is this, guys? Tell me what card that is. I, I don't know. This card's activation cannot be negated. Choose one monster you control whose original type is Divine Beast or whose original name is the Wicked Avatar, the Wicked Dread Root, or the or the Wicked Eraser. Except a monster already affected by Divine Evolution can. It, Except a monster already affected by Divine Evolution and it gains a thousand attack defense, its effects activation and its activate effects cannot be negated, also gains the falling effect. When this card declares an attack, you can make your opponent send one monster to control to the graveyard of their choice. Also, this is for like the Wicked Avatar and the Wicked Eraser and stuff like that. So the Wicked Gods, which is really cool. Level Resist Wall, what does this card do? If a monster you control is destroyed by battle or an opponent's card effect, target one of those monsters, special monsters from your deck in defense machine, so their combined level is equal to the level of that monster, but negate their effects. Pretty good. Level resist wall. Angel 01. Okay, so this is the other part from Telus. So you can special this card from your hand by revealing one level 7 or higher monster from your hand. You can only special summon one Angel 01 once per turn this way. While you control this special summon card, you can tribute you can tribute summon one level 7 or higher monster in attack position to your main phase in addition to your normal summoner set. Really good. Really good card. Really good card. Angel 01. Mare Mare! Super rare print. I don't think we got a super rare print of Mare yet, right? So, Harpy's Feather Duster, really good, super rare. Nimble Mamaga, really great to see this card. We got triple, right? Yeah, we, we gotta get triple. Okay, Bazuda Soul Eater. Man, this kind of reminds me of a gold deck, man, for some reason. Cyber Dragon, okay. This card is too good, a little bit too good for gold. Way too good. Hardened Arm Dragon. Super Nimble Me Mega Hamster. Okay, we got, of course, Evil Storm Managora. So, a lot of cards that can smash them themselves, so you can easily tribute summon for Obelisk of Tormentor, which is absolutely amazing. Uh, Photon Saber Tiger, okay. Two copies. Evil Storm Salamandra. Raw's Disciples are playing three copies of this card right here, uh, which is really good. Unmasked Dragon, amazing. We got, of course, Nimble Beaver. We also got Condemned Witch, can search, uh, you know, your, your forbidden cards. Uh, Gizmet Uka, reprint, common reprint for Uka, which is really nice. Another Gizmet card right here, uh, that's a common print. Brain Control. Not as great as before, but it's still brain control, you know what I mean? Okay, Monster Reborn, great reprint. Different Dimension Capsule, shout out to Zane. I only remember this card from Zane Drew's to be honest. Zane always uses this card. Pot of Avers, uh, Double Summon, great cards. Forbidden Chalice, all right guys, Forbidden Lance, Forbidden Dress, all the Forbidden cards. Supply Squad, Monarch Stormforth, Call the Haunted, Cloning, Drowning Mirror Force, amazing. And of course, Duel Links. Yo, Destruction Deck is so fun, man, guys. Honestly, I'm gonna do a duel with my brother with these decks. It's gonna be absolutely insane, guys. I had so much fun opening these decks. The only thing that I wanna change is possibly just getting these cards Prismatic Secret Rares, to be honest, in English version. But I'm pretty sure Konami has something brewed up for us. They're probably gonna make Ghost Rare versions of these cards. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know your thoughts about the God decks in the comment section below. You guys like them? What are your favorite cards out of them? Leave a comment in the comment section below. And remember, guys, I'm literally giving away both the D-Sign copies of the Structure Deck to two lucky winners. 
Be a subscriber, like the video, leave a comment on what your favorite god card is and, and why, and that's pretty much it. And remember, the winner of the OTS pack, please contact me so we can get you sorted out with the shipping and stuff. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned for more deck profile, guys, and I'm coming at you with a god deck really, really soon. Stay tuned for that. This is your boy Sam from Team Sam signing out. All right, guys, peace.